Hello mortals. Everything that has a beginning has an end. Atoms, humans, black holes, and even the universe itself, with the exception of a specific member of the British royal family. The universe can reach its demise in several ways, some rather boring and others pretty violent, and we're not entirely sure which path it will go down. So that's why we shall discuss them all. The universe is expanding. Everything gets away from everything else, at an accelerated pace. That's known as the Hubble's Law, and it happens because of dark energy. And this dark energy seems to somehow increase with time, thus stretching the fabric of space-time faster and faster. In the far future, because of this expansion, first all the galactic clusters will drift away from each other past the horizon of the observable universe. Later still, the same fate will happen for individual galaxies inside galactic clusters, and the civilizations born in that period inside the Milky Way would have no knowledge of other galaxies. Well, good thing me and you are living in the period in which the universe is at its prime, and when you can just tuck yourself in bed with a cup of hot flavored water and watch a science file video or a space documentary talking about the universe. In fact, that sounds like a good plan for tonight, Grab some tea in your free full month trial of Magellan TV, and have access to over 3,000 documentaries about science. I especially recommend the Mystery of Dark Matter documentary that inspired this video and which also dwells deeper into dark energy. Magellan TV has topics ranging anywhere from space and technology to ancient history and war. It was founded by filmmakers that believe that science defines the cutting edge of the human civilization. Thus, their team of professional producers and curators brings you new scientific content on a weekly basis, with the smartest perspectives on the world. Enjoy Magellan TV on any device without any ads, and get a full month for free by following the link in the description. Hurry up and become even smarter. Back to our journey into the future, about 60 million years before the Big Rip, as the dark energy will continue rising in strength, it will rip apart the galaxies, leaving our solar system by itself, but not for long. As you can imagine, it would also get ripped apart, three months before the big rip. As the amount of dark energy increases, it will have overpowered every force of gravity in the universe. But it's not done yet. If it continues to rise, it would overpower the electromagnetic force, which would rip apart all matter and the atoms making it up during the last minutes. As its value is quickly approaching infinity, it would even overcome the nuclear forces and rip apart the subatomic particles, until the observable horizon becomes so small that no fundamental interaction can happen at this scale, and time stops. At this time, the universe reaches the big rip, where the observable universe reaches zero size and thus becomes the final singularity. Thankfully, observations seem to suggest that the acceleration will not be strong enough to cause the big rip, as I'd rather prefer a less violent death. Talking about less violent, how about instead of getting ripped apart, you'll get crushed by the universe? The theory claims that the expansion of the universe will slowly slow down, counteracted by the gravitational force of the matter throughout the universe. It would eventually stall and then start contracting back. Essentially that would be pretty straightforward, a big bang in reverse. First, galaxy clusters, and then galaxies, would merge, and the temperature of the cosmic microwave background would begin to rise as the light would get blue shifted. Stars would eventually become so close together that they begin to collide with each other. Once the background radiation becomes hotter than the stars, they would no longer be able to radiate away their heat and would cook themselves until they evaporate, thus making the universe a huge ocean of plasma. In the last minutes, the temperature of the universe would be so great that atoms and atomic nuclei would break up and get sucked up into already coalescing black holes. At the time of the big crunch, all the matter in the universe would be crushed into an infinitely hot, infinitely dense singularity similar to the Big Bang. Then immediately after, it would all start over again with a new Big Bang, with potentially different fundamental physical constants due to quantum fluctuations. A never-ending cycle of infinite big bounces. But what caused the first Big Bang in this cycle? The answer is that there was no first Big Bang, there should have been an infinite amount of them. How does that make sense? I don't know. The human brain does not like infinities, and my brain just blue screens if I try to comprehend it. Thankfully we might save ourselves the headache as scientists made some measurements of the speed of the expansion and think that gravity won't be enough to stop and reverse it. 
And that leads us to the most realistic fate for our universe. The Big Chungus, also known as the Heat Death. Scientists estimated that the expansion speed is probably not great enough to rip us apart and not low enough to crush us in the big rip. That would ensure that the universe lives a very long and rather peaceful life. But not that peaceful for our Milky Way, since we've got Andromeda en route for collision in about 5 billion years to form Milk Dromeda. But no worries, the chances of the solar system being disturbed by some rogue stars is pretty slim. If I were you, I'd rather worry about the sun losing its shit and engulfing the earth at about the same time frame. But if the human civilization survives until then, I bet my power supply that they will have figured out a way to escape. Now travel 20 times more into the future to 1 trillion years, and all the galaxies from the local supercluster will have merged into one final galaxy, while the other galaxy clusters will have disappeared beyond the observable horizon due to the universe expansion. So then any civilization born in that period will have no way of knowing of the existence of other galaxies or the Big Bang for that matter. They would think their galaxy is the only one in the universe and would probably make some religion out of it. During the next trillions of years, stars will start decaying into white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. By the end of the Stelliferous Era, star formation will end, giving the start of the Degenerate Era. No laughing where only planets and degenerate remnant of stars remain. In one quadrillion years, the planets will have decayed their orbits or will have been flung into outer space because of close encounters with other remnants. Add five more zeros to our time frame, and 95% of the remnants are flung out of the galaxies into space, while the rest fall into the central galactic black hole which would create a very bright quasar. What happens next depends on whether protons decay or not, which we don't know for sure, but for the sake of simplicity we'll assume they do, and leave the other possibility for another video. In about 10 to a decillion years, all protons and neutrons that made up any matter in the universe will have decayed into photons and leptons, leaving only the black holes in the universe. This would start the black hole era, that would last around a Google years, until all black holes will have excruciatingly slowly evaporated through Hawking radiation. Fun fact, this radiation has a thermal spectrum, thus it would heat the black hole. During its last evaporation stages, black holes will be the last things to shine in the universe. With the death of the last black hole, the dark era would begin, with a universe barely containing some photons, electrons, and neutrinos flying around. This is the end. Or maybe, tiny flames will dance among the darkness. Given a non-zero probability, quantum fluctuations might trigger a new Big Bang, in an estimated 10 to the power 10 to the power 10 to the power 56 years. Just so that you understand how ridiculous this number is, if the time length between the Big Bang and now is 2 centimeters, the time length till a new Big Bang would span more than the observable universe. But regardless, even the slightest glimmer of hope is better than the thought of eternal darkness. I'm sure that the death of the universe is a very pressing issue for you at the moment, but worry not, we're all in this together.